it's Katie so today's video is going to be what is on my iPhone so I have the iPhone 7 and I'm gonna kind of go through the apps that I have the ones that I use the most um, how I save storage on my phone and just also my favorite apps to just kind of mess around with like games and stuff like that so we're just gonna get right into it I'm gonna scoot myself this way I don't know if I'm still in the frame let me just I think I'm still <laughs> I think I'm still in the frame. Okay, so um, I'm going to put my screen up right here, and we're just going to go through my phone. Let me just... Alright, so my lock screen is set as me and my boyfriend at my sorority formal. I've had this one forever. Um, and then my other one is, of course, me and my boyfriend again, and we're just at a bar, and we're just hanging out. So that's cute. Um, we're going to start off with the first page out of three pages. The first thing is Netflix. I don't usually watch it on my phone, but if I'm going on a trip or something like that, it's kind of convenient, so I don't have to pull up my laptop. So I do have Netflix on my phone. Then I have news, tips, books. I don't really read that much, but I do have some books downloaded from the online bookstore. Um, and then I have calculator. I use this, you know, whenever I need it. I have notes. I use notes literally so much. It's kind of embarrassing, but I have tons. If this is ever going to work, I have tons and tons of notes. Um, I just write whatever I need to on there and it's a very convenient place because it also hooks up to my laptop. So it's very easy. Then I have Snapchat. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I have Snapchat. Then I have find my iPhone, or no, find my friends, and that's kind of where I just track my friends if, like, you know, we need something. I don't know, it's a thing. And we have FaceTime. I have a finance folder, so of course I have Venmo, and then I have Fifth Third, which is my bank. Then we have the weather. Let's check the weather. It is 48 degrees out, so it's pretty nice considering it's still February or whenever you see this, like March. Um, and then I have GroupMe where we have a lot of group messages if I'm doing projects or for my sorority or other club organizations that I'm involved in. Apple TV, I never use. App Store, iTunes Store, podcast. I was listening to some podcasts. I was listening to um, Build Your Tribe, so like kind of building businesses and stuff like that. I think they're kind of cool. Um, so I was listening to that. Then I have, of course, Instagram. And if you guys aren't following me, definitely follow me on Instagram. I post when I can, but sometimes I don't have like a photo thing that I can take photos or post. I don't know what's going with that, but follow me on Instagram. Fun time. Um, then I have games. I don't play a lot of games. I've been getting into Best Fiends right now, but I have Word Connect, Starlight Adventures, Toy Bust, Block Hexa, Kingpin Bowling, Temple Run, Slices, Best Fiends, Pen Run. So out of that first page, I only really play Best Fiends now. Um, and then I have 100 Puzzle, Blackjack, Jigsaw Puzzle, Zoo Animal, Pet World, Traffic Run, Happy Color, Mario Kart, and Dragon Merge. Out of those, I usually only do Happy Color and Dragon Merge. Um, so, like, I have a lot of games, but I don't really play them. Then I have Spotify, and then I have the Starbucks app. And then quickly down below in the main bar, I have, um, ooh, sorry. I have my phone, then mail, <laughs> I cannot talk mail, then messages, and safari. So now moving on to the next page, I have wallet, and this is where I keep concert tickets, other tickets for my organizations. We need like a little barcode to scan, so I have that there. Then we have stocks, compass, watch, voice memos. I use a lot either if I'm doing voiceovers or if I'm recording stuff for songs. I have settings, and that's pretty simple. I wanna show you something. This is how I save space on my phone. My friend taught me this. Um, so you go to general and then you go to, uh, where is it, iPhone storage, and then it will pop up all of the apps and kind of just how much storage you're using, and so this is called offloading unused apps, and basically it's really nice if you have a lot of apps that you don't use but you still want to keep on your phone just in case you want to use them, you can just offload them and it will take up less storage, if any storage, so for example, if I am not using, um, okay, Snapseed. So I have Snapseed, and so I'm just going to hit offload app, and then it will just take up less storage, and you'll save a lot of room, um, so it's just going to offload that app, and yeah, that's a really cool, fun hack. Um, and so when it offloads, there'll be like a little cloud with an arrow going down, and that will show that it's offloaded. And if you want to use it, you just have to click on that app, and then it will unoffload the app, if that makes any sense. So next is clock. Of course, I have 50 million alarms because I'm a college student and I like to take 20 minute naps at random times of the day. 
Then I have just a couple world clocks there. Um, I have my camera, contacts, files, calendar. I keep so much stuff in my calendar. As you can see, every single day is pretty much full of things that I need to be doing. Then I have Visco where I just kind of post photos. And this is also my editing app that I like to use. So I just have my Visco here. I also have an Infinite Beauty 7 Visco. So if you guys want to follow that, definitely follow that. Health, music, reminders, I have daily reminders set, so if I have to take medicine, if I have to post on Instagram, if I'm posting a YouTube video, reminders is really great for like one time or reoccurring, just short little reminders. I have my photos, let's see, I have 1,362 photos, but I am going to delete a lot of them because I just don't want that many on my phone. Then we have maps, and I have a folder called stuff. This is kind of like the boring like stuff that comes on your iPhone. So pages, numbers, keynote, garage band, iTunes. Bus tracker is what I use to track the bus because I'm lazy and don't want to walk to school. Google Drive, Dropbox, measures, like the tape measure thing. Flow is to track my period. Shortcuts, and then Apple Store. I've never used either of those, but I have that. Under social, I have Twitter, Pinterest, Curtsy is kind of like a reselling app, Messenger, Uber, Facebook, Ticketmaster, and then IGTV, House Party, Depop, Romwe, Shein, Mercari, I don't know what it's called, um, Poshmark, and then of course TikTok because I'm kind of addicted, and then Twitch because I, I just have it. <laughs> Um, okay, next we're going to move on to photos and video, and this is where I do a lot of YouTube related stuff. So, of course I have YouTube, and then I have YouTube Studio. If you are a YouTuber and you have a YouTube... St what? Okay, if you are a YouTuber, you should get YouTube Studio. It's really, really nice. It will track all of your progress, and you can reply to comments really fast. You can see your analytics, so I really, really enjoy this app. Then I have iMovie if I want to do some quick editing. I have clips, but I offloaded the app just because I don't really use it. HP Sprocket to print out little mini photos. Fonto, which is to write text on your photos. Hype text is kind of like animated text on your photos. Facetune, I don't really use, but if I want to make a background more white, I will Facetune it. Afterlight, I don't use as much as I used to. Unfold is really great for Instagram stories, although I have been recently using Canva on my computer to to do Instagram stories just because I think it's so much easier and there's more that you can do. Preview is kind of like how you can um, design your own feed. We Heart It, I don't really use as much as I used to. Shutterfly is to when, is to when. Is when I need to download and print off photos so I can like hang them in my room or something. Then we have Word Swag, Snapseed, Vont is text on videos. Made is another one like Unfold and then PixArt. And then I have Hoopla. This is actually for my um, my like local library. You can like download five things a month, I think. I don't know how it works, but it's really cool. So I get free music like every month. Um, and then Google Photos, which is really nice because it's a great way to back up your photos through Google and the cloud and such. Okay, Whew, I need to breathe. Um, now we're going to go into school. So I have Quizlet. This is really, really helpful. So if I have an exam and I made flashcards on Quizlet, if I'm walking or like sitting on the bus going to that exam, I can go to Quizlet and just kind of like go through the cards really easily. I love this app. It's super useful. And then we have Corsical. This is a really good app for registering for classes. Duo Mobile, this is something Miami needs to have. Um, my Vote was something for my sorority. WhatsApp, Mobile ID, which I should offload. Um, Google Docs, Omega One is again for my sorority. And then Oxford to You is actually like a food service, so like I can get food delivered. I don't know why it's in school, but it is. Um, and then I have Survey Monkey and Sheets. Okay, and then I'm almost done, don't worry. Um, Lightroom is something that I've been really getting into. I love making presets and I love seeing how other people make their presets. So this is the main way I edit my photos. And if you guys want a tutorial on that, I would love to share it with you. But as you can see, this is, if it's gonna work, this is the difference before and after of like that kind of photo. So I really love kind of messing around with that. Then I have Slack. This is kind of like GroupMe, but it's a little easier to manage, and you can have a bunch of different group chats within one app, so it is kind of like GroupMe, but I really like it. Um, I use it for one of my organizations. We have Workout Women for Workout for Women. Um, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm very scatterbrained. 
Um, and so basically, it's just a really great workout app, and I really like using it because they're short workouts, they're fun, and they really actually work you out. Okay, and then we have Trello, and this is what I use to organize my entire life. I have recently been getting really into this, so I'll have different boards um, for different things. So, Charity Ball, which is the organization I'm part of, school projects, um, my fraternity projects, my sorority projects, all of that stuff is in one place, and it has like due dates so you can tell and get reminders. So, I really like that. And then the last app that I have that I just recently started using is called Food Foodility Food Foodility. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically it's like a food tracking app so you can add um, kind of like what types of meals you're doing, exercise, water, notes, anything like that. So I just think it's really helpful to stay healthy and I have gotten really into this and I make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water um, because it's kind of fun to like put in 20 ounces of water, you know. Um, but I do really like this app. So that is all for my phone. I know I probably blasted through this. Um, I did want to keep it short-ish though. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And by the way, I got this case from Charmony when I was studying abroad. I think it's really, really cute. I love the details and just like the graphics of it. I'm sorry again if I talked a little too fast. Let me know if I did because I would definitely slow it down because I always talk fast anyways. But thank you guys again and I'll see you later. Bye.